Hello everyone, it's Boris and in this video we will prepare a QCIS model for further calculations. So just to remind, we have a simple design task with input of 450 Nm and 1000 RPM. So we have to model a gearbox and calculate it to get the output of 2600 Nm. So let's start. Let's open the software. So first of all I have to activate the administrator mode to activate all the functions of the software. We'll often use the model tree on the left hand side. So the first thing I want to add is the gearbox folder to make all the things organized. It's quite recommended to divide some complicated gearboxes and transmissions into simple groups, into simple assemblies. So let's model our two-stage gearbox. Why I decided to model a two-stage gearbox? That's because uh, we have the 5.8 reduction ratio for entire gearbox, as we can see in the in our design task. So I've already added the first shaft. So also I want to add here the coupling for the input, two bearings and the gear. Let's add the second one with two bearings and two gears and the third, the last shaft in our gearbox. So here we also have to model the output, the coupling, with two gears and one with two bearings, sorry, and one gear. So also I want to connect all the gears one by one. So for this I have to add some the boundary condition for the gear pairs. As the first element I will choose first gear on the first shaft. As the second element I will choose the second gear we have modeled on the second shaft. Click OK. The same thing I will do with the second stage. Gear 3 and gear 4. Okay. Also, I want to define the input and the output. Just click back. Oh, it's not the thing I wanted to do. Let's do it once again. Let's connect them once again. Because I've accidentally deleted the boundary condition. So, I want to define the input. I will choose first element, the first coupling with speed constraint of 1000 RPM and the torque as a driving input with 450 Newton meters. Let's do it with the output too. Output, okay. I will choose the second coupling. The thing is, I do not have to change anything here. I will just change the torque to the output and system will automatically calculate the speed and torque on the third shaft. So. Also, I would like to add some calculations. To make the system understand which elements I want to calculate. 
also gear calculations let's update and try to calculate kinematics okay all was done correctly so also I have some options with positioning of the elements for example I want to see the output on the other side so I just have to open the shaft calculation and change the position to the opposite let's update yep also I would like to change the position of these gears I just opened the calculations for the second shaft change their positions and update yep also if I want to to design a non-standard gearbox for example I do want I do not want to see all the shafts on a one plane I have special requirements to make the third shaft angled with the second we can define it too so just open the reset position option for the third shaft and define according to calculation for this gear pair let's for example add a 30 degree position of contact a 30 degree angle we see that position have changed so also I'd like to change the appearance of these gears I just have to open 3D graphics and define them as solid elements then I can see the teeth of the gears so in cases there are some extra options to model your transmission or gearbox let's first save our design sample design and try some different options of modeling in KISSES there is a GPK module where you can choose any type of the gearbox you want to model for example let's choose the helical gearbox with two stages so you do not have to add all the elements manually all these things, all these models are already in the system here it's just like kind of template so you have only to choose, only change the inputs change maybe some gear parameters such as module etc also you can do the rough sizing and all the gearbox are already modeled you will just play with settings, you will just play with gear parameters also there is another option to model a gearbox in cases there are some templates for groups for example I can add a one stage group I can add a bevel group for example and then connect them to get the entire gearbox modeled so let's get back to let's get back to our design Kiss this 3D view, yeah, this way. So let's move on and define 
gear ratios for every stage and do the rough sizing.